Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Tag for Special and this is gonna be the fourth heart or the final episode for Sora. So in the fourth heart, I'm now gonna use my main deck which is Chaos Dragon and let's go just jump in to the story mode because I am still afraid that's not gonna be translated into English. And let's see if that's a gap. It is. Well, our assumption, our theories, our last, yep, there we go. Our last opponent will be a pendulum, pendulum user, and it's gonna be Sakaki Yuya and a cabaret Well, that is my theory. I don't know if it's gonna be them or not. But looks like Yuya is 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 mad at something or furious at something. Why? What? What's happening? Oh, he's, oh there we go. A cabaret Okay. I hope I can I can understand what's happening. So we're gonna fight them. It, because to be honest, it doesn't make sense why they're gonna team up. It's just theory because you know we it's 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 like it's very predictable that both of them is gonna be our opponent opponent. But what is the story? Why why are we gonna fight them? Like okay, look looks like Duya is angry with a, a cabaret, I think. I and and I don't know. What's happening? And uh, well, Akabaragi has always have that serious face that you know, he's like, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> and wait, what's happening? We're gonna fight them both, right? Yeah, but we don't know the reason why. Don't know the reason why we're gonna fight them. Unless, unless. Unless if, like, a Akabaregi already know that Sora is from another dimension and a Akabaregi want to take Sora Shunin on. I, I don't know. I hope there's a translation of what's happening in here. But right now, we just won't gonna duel them. And we don't have good cards. <gasps> no, we, we actually have. But, uh, yeah, I think... I hope this is gonna work. We can activate formation. I'm gonna summon wolf because it's gonna be a waste if you summon tiger in, in this early on. Now we're not gonna activate the effect of Fornimal Cat because we can use Fusion Recover instead. And we can get the polymerization. No no not not sub. We can get Fornimal Cat again. And another polymerization. And we can end our turn with that. I think in a way it the Toy Scissors Wolf in being in the field is a cool average strong defense. <laughs> I mean, I, th I think, yeah, I think it's a, a good defense. Intermate Pendulum Wizard. Oh, yeah, at this point, because we finished Sakaki Yuya, Thermo, is there a chance this, the deck he is using is like the level 7 or the highest level deck that he, he built or he has? Well, my turn. I summon the Radiant Hands of Light Spoon. Now, I can activate Radiant Hands of Light Spoon effect by sending the top two cards from my deck to my graveyard. And if there is a Light Spoon monster, I, I can increase its attack by 200. Battle. Dead Toy Scissors Wolf at attack Pendulum Wizard. Oh no. Okay, with that, I end my turn. Now, in the end of the turn, Raiden Hands Slice Horn will send up the top, top of two cards of his from my deck to, to the graveyard. That's actually gonna happen every end of our turn. So, here is a different dimension Demon's deck. Let's see how powerful it is because I, I already used this and it's actually powerful and also have an amazing design. Also, you know. <laughs> Wait, what kind of scale was that? You can summon level 4 to level 7. Okay, that's quite a, I don't know, 
convenient with Hellgate. Oh, maybe he activated that for because did the Leonidas, 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 the rebellion lord has an effect about that when this that he won't take a damage. I think. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I can get that. You can see the night hall. When this card is normal summon, if I'm correct, you can get one different dimension monster from the graveyard, but doesn't have one. But he has level four in his field. Level se yes, he has a level seven DDD synchro monster. Okay. Oh, he pendulum summon. A level level six. Okay. The, what? Why did you do that? Okay. Proud ogre. And here comes the Synchro Summon. It's really bad. It is that a cabaret he doesn't have a voice acting. It's just sad because I think it would be cool if he has one. And in that he doesn't have or you cannot select him as the char character for the story mode is I don't know it's just some it just feels wrong well this is bad well good thing is we can activate this card and this Discard crane, crane, crane. And then activate polarization. You can destroy two of this, but in the next turn, it will just come back. So that's that's the disadvantage. But we need to build a damage, you know. Oh, come on. Well, actually, this is actually also good at the same time because if there is a hippo token on the field, both of them cannot summon a monster from the exit deck. And that's something that become disadvantage when I was partnered with you as Akaki. That's why I, in a way, kind of hate this hippo carnival spell card. Yeah, also, yep, yeah, that one. He can still actually Pendulum Summon. But I don't know if he can, if he can Pendulum Summon the extra deck.
Okay, my turn draw. So I summon Raging Hands of Lice Run again. Activate Raging Hands of Lice Run effect. I'll send the top two cards from my deck to my graveyard. There is a Lice Run, it can use the top, and there it is. Then now, by removing one light and one dark monster from my graveyard, I can special summon this monster. A great shining Nurchan that brings hope into oblivion. Come forth, Light Pulsar Dragon! I activate Black Dragon Call of Serpent effect by this by banishing one light monster from my graveyard, I can special summon Black Dragon Call of Serpent. Battle. So, Death Toy Scissors Tiger. Attack Intermate Part Partnaga. And then, Black Dragon Club Serpent. Destroy the token. And Raiden. Continue to destroy the token. Like Pusha Dragon. Attack, ya attack Kuya Sakaki directly. I use Sardin Hand of Lies, Wern, and Black Dragon Club Serpent to sink or summon. So, sink or summon, come forth, Scrap Dragon! Now, I set one card face down and activate Scrap Dragon effect. Once per turn, I can target one card I control and then I can destroy one card. On my opponent's field and I will choose his Pendulum Scale 3 DDD Leonid as the Rebellious Lord. And with that I end my turn. Now it's his turn. Wait, really? I hope I can see yours. Here's level Akaba. Yeah, that become a disadvantage for you. Your turn. Yeah, I don't think they will last that long, this longer. And let's end this. Oh yeah, remember this card? Well, we still have Scrap Dragon to end this.
And I think this is going to be the first time that I'm going to end the story mode without even knowing what's happening. Of course, it's still in the Nihongo. So what's happening in here? I'm really curious on what's happening. <laughs> like, what is... Why? Like, look at that. Look, look at Yuya Sakaki expression what's with that expression all about why is he hung angry we don't know or i don't uh, did did the two of them find out that sora is from the other dimension if if that's a i don't I, 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 well if that is a truth why the endings kind of you know wholesome and cute in a way I don't understand anything. I hope in the in the, our next character won't will have a full English transi transition translation transition what translation I hope. And with that, another character story mode has been ended. So when it comes to story mode, I actually liked it in the first, you know episode we fight a fusion user then an exist user then a a synchro user then we go to the pendulum user i think the concept that is 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 amazing it's great but of course when it comes to the um the episode two the translation become well it's, it isn't translated so we don't know what happened and why shun is there which is another from is he is actually from the exist dimension so maybe that maybe that's a clue that's that a cabaret you know and yuya know that they that sora is from other dimension i don't know or yeah i don't really know because it you can see the expression from yuya that he's mad or angry and we i don't have an idea why i, I mean i have some assumption but i do hope there's like a translation that explain why but yeah i'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching and bye